The well-known cryptocurrency self-custody company Ledger just sent out a serious security warning to XRP token owners via tweet. To further transparency, XRP Scan, a well-known explorer of the XRP Ledger ecosystem, has published an updated XRP payment flow chart. Additionally, the CEO of Uphold, an American exchange that supports XRP, Simon McClellan, has provided details on Uphold's recent collaboration with Ripple, which intends to revolutionize the cross-border payment market. The SEC versus Ripple lawsuit has now been clarified by Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse, but the question that everyone still has it is, is the SEC versus Ripple case done and dusted? This security alert coincides with an increase in deliberate attempts to steal digital assets belonging to XRP fans. It's interesting to note that fraudsters using images of Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse were the source of the security concern that prompted Ledger's statement. The cryptocurrency self-custody platform alerted XRP holders to beware of fraudulent operations by dishonest actors due to the changing tactics. Ledger specifically mentioned that con artists use false airdrops intended to hack and pilfer cryptographic assets as a means of deliberately targeting the XRP army. It advised caution and emphasized the necessity of being watchful to safeguard their cryptocurrency funds. It was made public two weeks ago how dishonest people staged a phony scene in which Ripple's CEO announced a bogus giveaway using deepfake technology. It's crucial to remember that the Ripple team has repeatedly issued warnings that there would be no XRP airdrops from the firm. Scams aimed at XRP holders have become more common since XRP's July judicial triumph. In the meanwhile, holders of XRP were advised by the self-custody platform on how to avoid becoming victims of the incredibly specific scams. The first precaution was to never send cryptocurrency to wallets you are not familiar with. This highlights how crucial XRP holders are. Whenever you come across addresses or wallets for the first time, you should proceed with extreme caution. Ledger also suggested proceeding with extreme caution when interacting with addresses or wallets that one is unfamiliar with. Seems unduly ideal, which makes one suspicious. Scammers, for example, have been known to ask their intended victims to deposit 1,000 XRP in exchange for 2,000 XRP. Here's an example of a latent fraud. Sending cryptocurrency and receiving double the amount. The self-custody service concluded by advising users to never disclose your 24-word recovery phrase. Notably, a sequence of 24 words that a cryptocurrency user receives while creating a wallet is called a 24-word recovery phrase, sometimes referred to as a seed phrase or mnemonic phrase. It acts as a backup and restore system for the particular wallets that are made. Please remember to click the notification bell and subscribe to our channel. To be the first to learn about more developments about XRP skin stated that the adjustments were required in light of the regulatory crackdown that Binance encountered earlier this week. XRP According to XRP scan, the modifications were required. In the wake of the regulatory repression that Binance encountered earlier this week, the revised XRP payment flowcharts allow users to view the volume and total number of transactions connected to a certain wallet. The technology behind the new asset class, blockchain, is criticized by many cryptocurrency detractors for obscuring transactions and making them hard to follow. The goal of XRP Scan's move is to disprove this myth by identifying any odd behavior that might be occurring within the XRP ledger. On the dates that significant transactions are recorded, users can see a preview of the payment and volume on the data page under the Analyze tab. The money entering and leaving a wallet is now tracked using the new XRP Skin tool. The protocol used the Binance 10 wallet to show how useful this feature is. The data displayed indicates that Binance only accepts a fairly specific range of funds as inflows. Notably, transactions on the exchange ranged from 2213 XRP to 86 million 700,000 XRP at its highest point. With a total of two transactions recorded, November 14 marked the peak inflow into the upper end of the range Binance wallet. 
By highlighting questionable transactions, the Analyze component of XRPS Scan will assist in preventing fraudulent activity from organizations that adopt XRP. In a similar vein, the feature revealed that November 21 saw the biggest Binance outflow of 58,800,000 XRP. By taking this action, the XRP scan is advancing the process of establishing trust that may lead regulators to completely reevaluate their position. One of the most recent changes to improve the XRP ledger's usability, user experience, and compliance is the addition of this new capability. In a recent interview, McLaughlin spoke candidly about Uphold's recent cooperation with Ripple. In an interview with the host of the cryptocurrency media source Digital Perspectives, in addition, McClellan discussed Uphold's recent collaboration with Ripple in a recent interview with the host of the cryptocurrency news site, Digital Perspectives. First, McLaughlin clarified that Ripple's payment product, Ripple Payments, provides an essential service for global businesses looking for effective cross-border money transfers. He stated that Ripple uses XRP to address the issues associated with the international transfer of funds. The Uphold CEO discussed the specifics of the Uphold Ripple collaboration in this context. Uphold, one of Ripple's liquidity providers, is expected to play a crucial part in the network, according to McLaughlin. He clarified that a big business using Ripple payments will create an Uphold account that is pre-funded with XRP from Ripple. Uphold's main job in this ecosystem is to help with easy payouts to banks by converting cryptocurrency into fiat money. Significantly, McClellan announced that Uphold will function as a regulated organization, initially serving corridors in the US, UK, and Europe. In the upcoming year, the company intends to expand into Brazil. In addition, he emphasized the problems that both people and businesses encounter when engaging in cross-border transactions. He gave a funny story of the difficulties in financing a bank account in Canada, citing Uphold's recent licensure, in that country as an example. McLaughlin bemoaned the ridiculousness of sticking with antiquated techniques like physically moving money, saying that these difficulties ought to be relics of the past in the contemporary period. We are thrilled to be a part of this creative solution that uses the cryptocurrency case to solve a significant mass market issue, McLaughlin said. In addition, the presenter asked about the expected numbers. Uphold expects to work with Ripple on processing. According to McLaughlin, the company lacks accurate projections, but stated that an initial yearly forecast of about $5 billion was expected. He also stressed the possibility of far larger quantities, particularly in light of the developing regulatory clarity in some regions of the world. Is the Ripple v. SEC case resolved? The main query of the day is now resolved. Is the SEC v. Ripple case over? Please remember to click the notification bell and subscribe to our channel. To be the first to learn more about the most recent developments around XRP. Speaking at a fireside chat at DC Tech Week in 2023, Garlinghouse asserted that the SEC had lost on significant issues in the Ripple case. He said, the SEC has lost on everything that matters. The CEO of Ripple stated that the SEC's choice to file an appeal will determine whether the dispute is resolved or not. Garlinghouse went on to say that the SEC's losses would be amplified should it decide to take the appeals process to a higher level. He also restated Ripple's readiness to pursue the case further with the U.S. Supreme Court should the situation call for it. Like that, Garlinghouse made it clear that he did not think the SEC would win at the Supreme Court, pointing out that the court has never ruled in favor of regulators. In addition, he brought up the SEC's defeats in the Grayscale case, in which the trial judge declared that the agency was behaving arbitrarily and capriciously. Notably, this legal wording suggests intentional, illogical acts that are done carelessly, ignoring relevant situations, facts, and other parties' rights. With this incident, the CEO of Ripple aimed to emphasize that the SEC should reevaluate its approach to cryptocurrency regulation in light of the federal judge's use of such harsh words. He articulated the belief that when one keeps trying the same course of action and gets consistently bad results, it's time to reconsider one's strategy.
Furthermore, Garlinghouse emphasized that other nations are enhancing their market influence by implementing open rules and luring capital into the cryptocurrency industry. On the other hand, the United States continues to view cryptocurrencies with skepticism. He expressed concern that the lack of a favorable regulatory framework is causing the United States to forfeit its potential leadership position in the cryptocurrency business. The CEO of Ripple, however, is still certain that the United States will create a welcoming regulatory environment for cryptocurrencies in the upcoming 10 years. Verify that you enjoy the video and don't forget to click the notification bell and subscribe. This is a huge assistance for the YouTube algorithm. By showing this movie to as many people as you can, you may also aid in enlightening others in the same way that you have been enlightened. Let's spread this news far and wide, people. If you truly love cryptocurrencies, make sure to read all of our stuff. We'll talk about the most recent developments that affect our community as a whole tomorrow.